What is up guys, Coffee and Give Me 24-7 with me, someone better. And we're at Moriarty's Saloon. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? <laughs> uh, I hadn't planned on it. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Look at that. Good karma. Okay, well, anyway, I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Excellent. Let me try my speech. If you know anything, please, about my father, you need to tell me. Nope. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. So I have low speech. Tamper with that, and we're gonna have a problem. What's shaking? Got something on your mind? What do you need? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Look, if you can give me more information, or point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's gonna help oh, man. you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Nope. Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Colin is Colin Moriarty. All right, let's go. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Take. I'll come back and talk. Oh, is that him behind? Oh, that's him right behind her. Hey. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. You've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Okay, so for the 15th time, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Um, <laughs> My dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? 
Oh, my speech 39 didn't work, so that won't work. Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. <coughs> Very reasonable. Mm. I do have a hundred caps. Let's get this over with. Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking of dear old dad, he went southeast into D.C. to the Galaxy News radio station. A good luck, though. That's really far. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go all the way to Galaxy News radio. Okay, let's talk. this guy was waving me over before. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. Huh. It does. Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. Go on. I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little... (laughs) motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge, constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb... Then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Can't do the speech. Maybe this one? Since this one might end up in violence, but let's see. Megaton is under my protection. You're going to leave now. Oh, I see. I didn't realize Megaton had any guardian beyond its intrepid sheriff. Very well, then. I'll take my leave, as you suggested. Back again? Perhaps you've reconsidered my offer. Now that is a disappointment. Okay, so he doesn't actually leave. Who's this? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Sure. A job usually means I get paid. Actually, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you something for all the trip. What do you say? Yeah, sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Uh, can you give me some information about Arafu? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Uh, where is Arafu? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Um... Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. 
If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Do you suspect your family is in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Who else lives in Arafu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family, and a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. All right, let me ask you something else. Okay. Uh, never mind. I have to go. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. If you need something from me, spill it. This better be a... You're still standing here, and I can't think why. You know where your father went. Seems to me you ought to be out searching the wastes. Yeah, what's all this about the Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. You know anything about the area outside Megaton? The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Alright, I have to go. I await our next meeting with bated breath. Alright, who's this guy? Hell of a day, isn't it? Well, hot damn! Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, alright? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed, in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Do you know anything about the area outside Megaton? All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Okay... Um... I gotta go then. Easy, man. Well, he was a waste of time. All right, so if Gob's got nothing else to say... Welcome to Moriarty's saloon. Then I'm out of here. Looking for a drink? Good to see you again. Need a drink? Nope. Goodbye. See you soon. All right. Let's, let's get out of this town. All right, guys. Um, let's get to the main door. I'm gonna try to jump down. I'm not even gonna talk to them. There's like a church down here. I present to your will this frail body. It's a waste of time. Let's just go. Sheriff. Evening. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me tell him about this. I met a man named Burke. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. What if he asked someone else to explode the bomb? You should do something. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland Ugh. justice. Just when I thought I was going to leave. Hey, where did he go? game's a little weird when it comes to, um, like, shooting people. Like, even though he's bad, if I shoot him, 
It might not go well. <sighs> anyway, I don't want to hold you up. Hey, have a good anything one, going on? This is the worst part, like when I'm following somebody, and then somebody automatically stops me to talk. Alright, let's see what happens. Just when you thought Moriarty Saloon was over, we're back. Hey there, glad you're back. You there, Burke. Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff. I'm what? afraid there's been Get a... Here. <laughs> misunderstanding. Tell him what you said. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. Yeah. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. Uh -oh. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Uh oh. Now, step aside. Uh oh. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Can I, I help you? Do you knuckle draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. I know. Not so now, you'll be dead. Look out! Are you excited to see what that's like? Now you die. There's a new sheriff in town. That's fine. Good riddance. And it looks like you killed the sheriff. Well, that means I get his gun. Okay, so first day in uh, Megaton, and the sheriff's dead, and Burke's dead, but town is safe. Hey I've got there. two, two Glad more guns. So. If you need something from me, spill it. All right, now I can get out of here. Oh, and I ran over again. It's hard to do one mission. How do I get out of here? Up and over. Hello. Whoa, 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 ugh. All right, didn't get hurt, good. I shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken death to hear the thunder of his voice. <sighs> All right, well, you don't really need, they don't really need the sheriff anyway. That guy was really the only problem and he's taken care of. So, let's go back out of here. All right, guys. Until next time, we will head towards D.C. Heading to D.C. Alright, thanks for watching.